Are you still trying to make a smooth padding in After Effects? Well, don't worry, because today we'll show you step by step how you can make the best padding in After Effects ever. To start, I prepared the edit of Superman just to show you guys. Now, what we want to do first is to pre-compose all our clips together. To do that, just select all your clips and press Ctrl, Shift and C at the same time. Now, this little window should open and we're going to select the bottom option and also enable this check mark. Now, press OK and you should see all your clips are now in a separated pre-composition. Now, I would always suggest you to add your padding onto a new adjustment layer on top of all your other clips. And in order to do that, we're just going to go ahead and press Ctrl, Alt and Y on our keyboard and it should bring up a new adjustment layer. Now the effect that I always use for my panning is S underscore shake. So we're gonna go ahead onto our effects and presets panel and search for S underscore shake. Draw all the way down and add it onto your newly created adjustment layer. So now to get the smoothest results, we're gonna adjust the settings a bit, so follow my instructions. First, we're gonna go ahead and change the amplitude from 1 to 0 0.22. Now what this setting changes is the maximum distance that your edit is gonna move. Next, we're gonna change the frequency from 8 down to 3. Now the frequency, as the name already says, just defines how frequent your clip is going to move. If you want your panning to move faster, you're going to put the frequency up. And if you want to keep it really slow, you're going to put it down. I'm just going to go for the middle range, so I'm going to leave it at 3. As always, make sure to adjust the settings to your liking so you can get the best results for you personally. Now, once that's done, make sure Warp X and Y are both on Reflect and also turn on Motion Blur. It's just going to make your panning a bit smoother. Now, the most important step that you shouldn't skip is going to be adding a good color correction. As you can see, adding a good color correction can increase the quality of your edits immensely. So make sure to check out the first link in the description and get my color pack right now. This is going to be the best timing to buy anything because I'm running a huge sale. You can get up to 70% off of my presets. So don't miss your opportunity and check it out now. Once all that's done, you're good to go. You can now render your edit. And if this tutorial helped you, make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you want to see next. Make sure to not miss out on the offer in my shop right now. As I said, it's a big opportunity. Also check out my Discord server. We're a huge community of editors who just help each other. You can ask me questions or just get in touch. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.